Good morning, and welcome back to Pokemon TCG. I've been using this new deck called Mindfire. Here's a take a look at it. Um, it's got uh, colorless, psychic, and fire cards in it. Um, these are just all the ones I've got. Got a few trainers here. And some energy. Um, and uh, I have a eight win streak going with it. So I figured I'd just uh, let's show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to start off here with uh, King Carter. Oh, looks like King Carter got the Eternatus box. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to start with Pultigeist. And then we're going to stick Snorlax and Eevee on the bench. Yep, there it is. I might have finally met my match then, since got that, uh, it's going to be one of those Eternatus decks. Um, let's see if I can overcome, though. We'll, we'll have to take a, take a good look here. Yeah, these Eternatus cards just, they're pretty ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to put Lucky Egg on Pultigeist. We're going to give him a Psychic Energy. And then we're going to use Sonia to get some more energy. And then, yeah, we're going to stick with that for right now. Yeah, unfortunately, Poltegeist is weak to Dark because it's one of the newer cards. All the old Psychic cards are just weak to Psychic. Um, wow, he's got two of them already. Jeez. Ooh, yeah. Well, this is gonna be a rough start to my to my video. Unfortunately, you you missed the you know the other eight battles that I won handedly. Um, need to make a fighting deck specifically to fight these these ones because it's ridiculous. Yep, there goes that one. Yep. So. <laughs> It doesn't look like we're going to be able to win this one, unfortunately. Well, we'll get, get some energy on him regardless, and we'll take our lumps, then we'll try again. If he gets one more, yep, he's going to get another card, so... Mm -hmm. And oh, we survived! What a what a concept! All right. Yep, just unbelievable how ridiculous these cards are. Like you know, like I know card games like this have a power creep. Like that's how they how they operate. But like. This is this is a pretty insane combination there. They they made it very easy for that Eternatus to to destroy things. And as you can see, our win streak is now back to zero. So let's let's start again. Um, hopefully, I don't get another another uh, Eternatus deck right in a row. All right, Let's see what this guy's got. Chimin. All right, we're going second. 
No starting Pokemon. It's all right. Well, Mulligan. All right, much better. Okay, so we're going to start with Salamance. Um, and we're going to throw Eevee and De uh, Espeon, Deoxys, and Wobbuffet on the bench. Um, and I'm doing that because I do have a powerful energy, so he's going to go on Salamance, and I can also use the draw energy on him. Um, so we're going to use, we're going to go with that. Oh, this Salamance card is really awesome anyway, because its first attack does 30 damage to everything. So, can't go wrong with that. He's got the Collect Snorlax out, so he can get more cards, I assume. That's okay though, we've got this guy. What a boss. Gotta be a little worried about that Raichu there that he just got. Okay. So we're going to use Powerful Energy, and then we're just going to be done for that turn. Yep, there you go, yeah, we got the Raichu. Luckily for me, Raichu, his attack requires there to be a lot of electric energies on everything. What is this deck? It's a hodgepodge. Okay, we're going to put Ear Ringing Bell on Salamance, play the Draw Energy, cool. So we're going to play Bird Keeper so that we can get some more energy cards, hopefully. Yep, okay, and then we're just going to switch back to Salamance. And we got another Powerful Energy, which is great, so we'll put that one on Salamance too. So that means we're going to be doing 70 damage to Snorlax, 30 damage to everything else. So we can start chipping away at all this stuff he's got on the bench, all this random stuff. I think he's just got one of those decks where, like, he only uses Pokemon that have, like, colorless attacks, for the most part. Okay, 120? Not bad. Now he's asleep and confused. Alright, powerful energy. We'll use energy spinner. Grab a psychic energy for our psychic friends on the bench. And then... We'll start swooping. All right, we're going to get lots of damage in real fast. So yeah, basically this deck is all about um, getting really powerful things really fast. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of normal type cards um, that can just be used with any energy. We've got our psychic cards. Um, and then also, we I threw fire in there because of welder. So I've got four welders in there. And um, four welders, and then I also have um, this card right here, Mewtwo and Mew GX. Um, it can use any GX or EX cards attack as long as it's been on my bench or in the discard pile. So I can throw a bunch of fire and psychic energies on this, and it has just a wide range of attacks. So I've got several fire GXs and several psychic GXs in here. So those are the kind of main the main things we're doing with this with this deck. Um, see, I just got welder, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. So we're gonna welder to Mewtwo, get some more cards. Got another GX card. Throw that on Mewtwo. We're paralyzed. We gotta wait a turn. That's okay. Uh, we still have a hundred hit points left, and he can't do damage with his current attack set. He's probably just trying to get that Steelix up. Up to snuff. Because that first attack doesn't do much. Right. And then his last one does like, what, two, yeah, 220? Jeez, it's a lot of damage. Potion to that. Oh, he nuzzled again. Man, he's getting lucky with his coin clips. All right, um, so we're gonna play Spike Buff so that he can't switch without taking damage. We're going to keep on attaching energies, 
And actually, you know what? I'll take the 20. There you go. Throw a double on there. Okay, and so attacks we've got. We've got Psychic Club, Cross Division, and Crimson Pillar. Uh, we are going to do Psychic Club because we've got a couple Psychic guys on the bench. So that'll do what, 70? That's enough. All right. Now it's Mewtwo and Mew's turn. Um, and Mewtwo and Mew's, they're, they're a thing. If we just get one more Psychic energy on there, then we can uh, we can heal all damage to all of our Pokemon. So that'll be really awesome. Then we'll be back at, back at zero. Not to damage the side. One second. Okay, we're going to play Boss's Orders, and we're going to get rid of his one thing that he wants to have real quick. Uh, we're going to do that with, as much as I'd love to be able to heal everything, I'll just do that and get rid of it. So goodbye, Steelix. Um, and we're well on our way here, and we're set up for Welder again, which is awesome. So yeah, this is how the deck is supposed to work. Um, you obviously didn't get to see that when we faced that Eternatus deck. Um, but yeah, this one should get wrapped up pretty quick, and then we can uh, we can do... Yep, he quit. All right, good. So we've got that one. We'll do one more. Trying to get to the end of the, the second part of the ladder today. Then maybe this weekend I can get a good chunk of the third part done. It's been a while since I've been excited about one of these. Enough to actually like play enough to, to, get, to get where I want to go, so it's exciting. All right, here we go. When the time come the coin flip again, we're going second. Oh, so many welders. All right, we're going to get the Snorlax ready to go. And he had to mulligan. Perfect. All right. So mulligans, electric type cards, doesn't matter because I'm using Snorlax. Three rests. Sweet. Oh, this is perfect. All right. We're going to, oh, we're not going to win the first turn, but boy, oh boy, could have we gotten close. That's all right. All righty. Here we are. Yeah. All right. Welder. Two fire energies, powerful energy, double, cape of toughness, lucky egg on Snorlax. We're going to throw a training cord up there for good good measure. Swallow, that's game. That was a beautiful start. That that warrants another game because that was that was just awesome. That was probably like the perfect, the perfect start. And that guy's probably really mad. <laughs> All right, so we got that one. Let's get one more good one in. Some more coins. Man, that was that was very, very pretty. We're gonna get this Venusaur LB card today, right now. Let's do it. <sighs> Alright, who we got? I'm Weasel. Sure you are. Well, I'm Weasel. You're going first. All right, this time we've got Heat Ran to start. No fire energies, though. So we're going to probably attach the draw energy and hope we draw a fire energy. Or maybe we'll get it on our first draw. He's only got Jirachi, though, so. Uh, but he he's getting stuff that's going to let him get more Pokemon, so he's not. Yep, there he goes. Energy and Professor's Research. Ah, of course. The Pikachu and Zekrom cards. What else would he use? These things are strong, too. You know, like, all the tag team cards, they're all really strong. Like, I'm not going to say none of them are bad. But, like, the two, I think, the one that, the two that are the most powerful, I think, are definitely the Zekrom and Pikachu and the Charizard and Reshiro ones. Like, they're, they're common enough that people have them. And they're they're just incredibly strong, and it's it's kind of ridiculous just how good they are. 
Okay. So can't can't obviously attack yet. Gonna hope I draw a fire energy and I can use welder. Um, and then hopefully power this thing up enough to actually do some damage. Um, forgot I'm not supposed to click on those while I'm recording. My bad. Oh well. We're back. We're still in the same game. That's a fancy card. You know, it was kind of funny, like, when they when they were hyping Sword and Shield, they, like, released her so early, and everybody's like, oh, it's the Professor, she's gonna have, like, a big part in the story, and then she was, like, not in it at all. She, like, you, you talk to her, like, once, and then after that, you never see her again. It's like, oh, okay, cool. I just expected to see her more, I guess. And, and instead, it ended up being about Sonya, and I, I love Sonya as a character, and I think she's fantastic. It was just kind of weird. It was like, oh, here we have this professor, and then, like, you just never talk to her. She's not a part of the game, like, at all. It just, it just you know, made me laugh a little bit. Well, we got him fully powered, huh? Great. Mm. Oh, well, this is a bummer. Okay, well, to take that, I guess, we're going to put in the other one. <sighs> no sense of putting energy on there. Just wait. Okay, so he scooped up. Oh man, he's got that one too. These this card's good too. They, I think like they, they just in general the electric tag team cards. They all work so well together like this. It's just it's just set up for success. And I feel like the other ones are good, but they don't have the kind of synergy that the um, the Pikachu and Zekrom cards have. And so that detracts from using the other ones because it just doesn't work as ah oh, shoot yep there he goes that'll be a win oh, and then he switched anyway what that didn't make sense um well that was fun um thanks for watching uh clearly you got to see it work really well a couple times um thanks for watching uh see you later